Biden's mass mutual $4.75 million over the whole Roaring Kitty case dealing with GameStop. So a mass mutual investment subsidiary has agreed to pay $4.75 million to resolve allegations by Massachusetts securities regulators, including that it failed to supervise its agents, among them the social media persona, Roaring Kitty, whose online posts helped spark January's trading frenzy in GameStop shares. So Massachusetts Secretary of the Commonwealth, William Galvin, on Thursday said, MMM. L investors services failed to detect the activities of Keith Gill, who touted GameStop stock in his spare time while he was working at the company. But see, here's the thing, right? I don't believe this is actually really like even illegal or anything at all. Like, I mean, I don't think uh, Ron Kitty actually did necessarily anything that was against their terms of service or, you know, against their job requirements or restrictions. Right. So Gavin, the state's top securities regulator, alleged Mass Mitchell also inadequately supervised other agents and failed to review their social media usage or catch excessive trading in their personal accounts. Which again, I don't know if this is necessarily like their responsibility, right? Like I don't really see how this is Mass Mutual's responsibility. But they're probably paying this just so that they don't have to necessarily spend a very lengthy time fighting it in court. Like they probably understand, like it'd be cheaper for us to just do this quickly and just pay this fine than have to go through a very long process, potentially spending, you know, who knows, four or five times the amount. So the company agreed to pay a four million dollar fine to resolve those allegations and another $750,000 for failing to register 478 broker-dealer agents. Now, this one I can understand them having to pay, the failing to register the 478 broker-dealer agents, but it also agreed to overhaul its social media policies. Mass Mutual did not admit wrongdoing and said it was pleased to put this matter behind us. So Gavin's inquiry into Gill remains pending. His lawyer did not respond to a, a request for comments. So Gil, known as Roaring Kitty on YouTube in Deep Effing Value on Reddit, was a key figure in the so-called Reddit rally, which saw shares of GameStop surge 400% in a week before crashing back to pre-surge levels earlier this year. So he began sharing his positions on Reddit's popular Wall Street's Bets trading forum in September 2019, posting a portfolio screenshot indicating he had invested $53,000 in GameStop. And by late January, Gill, 35, was up over 4,000% on stock and options investments in the company, with his GameStop position plus cash worth nearly $48 million, according to his Reddit post. And imagine if you basically made a gamble and basically said, you know what? I think this company that I love is should be worth much more, right? And you end up basically making $48 million because you just love the company so much, right? Because of like basically nostalgia. So at the time, Gil worked at Mass Mutual in a marketing and financial education job and was a registered financial broker in Massachusetts. So state regulators found Mass Mutual failed to detect nearly 1,700 trades by Gill, who was able to execute at least two trades in GameStop in excess of $700,000 beyond a company limit. But see, here's the thing. I still don't understand why this is even the responsibility of Mass Mutual, right? If you end up stumbling upon this, feel free to let us know. But I don't really understand why this should even matter. Right, because what he does in his own personal account shouldn't really matter what the company does, right? Because it's not necessarily a situation. I don't think he ever tried to tell people like, "Hey, get in this because you're going to get rich." I don't think he ever did that. So technically speaking, he shouldn't have really done anything that should really even spark any interest from the government at all or even from his company. Now, if he was saying something like, hey, again, this this is a great financial decision, this is like a smart financial decision, then I could see, okay, this is a bad idea, right? 
But if he's just someone who's like, hey, you know, I'm investing into this. This is why I'm investing into this. This is why I'm putting a lot of money into this. And here are my reasons. And just having like an open discussion, I feel like that's completely different, right? But feel free to give your thoughts. Either way, it's a very interesting thing, right?